does PUBG run like this on your Xbox? Well stay tuned to find out how to fix this and make it run super smooth. Yo 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 fam, today we are going to tell you how to get a performance bump on Xbox One for playing PUBG. If like me you've been playing PUBG and you get graphics like this where you land and it is just all blocky and horrible, I have got a way to get rid of that. If you've got an Xbox One X you should be okay, it should be much much better already but if you're playing on the original Xbox One or the Xbox One S which is what I have here, this is a cheeky little trick to speed up your gaming sessions. So what do you need? Well this is actually a hardware upgrade I guess you could call it and what you need is this cheeky little beast here. This is the Western Digital My Passport SSD. So it doesn't need to be this exact one, this is just the one I picked up. It was on offer on Amazon, it was really reasonable priced and it was just as cheap as buying a SSD hard drive and then putting it in an external enclosure myself. So saving me having to do all that, you can just buy this, plug it in and you are good to go. So an external SSD is what you need, right? And I'll leave a link down in the description to the exact one I'm using here in case you guys want to pick it up as well. So you get your SSD and the USB cable which comes with it. It's just micro USB and has a little adapter there. I'm going to plug this into my Xbox and then show you what to do next. So once you plug your SSD into one of the USB ports, either at the back or at the front of your Xbox One S or Xbox One, it will pop up on screen with this notification. And what you want to select is this one in the middle, format storage device, so that we can store our games on this device and our games will run from the SSD, which is way faster than the hard drive which is actually in the Xbox. As it is a mechanical hard drive, I think it's only like 5000 RPM, so it's pretty slow. This is way, way quicker. So click that and give it a name. What will we call it? Uh, external sounds good to me. So let's do it, let's stick with that. So hit continue, install things on external by default. What it's asking you now is when you buy new games, whether that be on a physical disc or from Xbox Live, when you're installing them on your Xbox One, do you want them to automatically be installed on the new external hard drive? I don't want that, I want it to still be installed on the Xbox hard drive and I can move games over to the external hard drive when I want to. So keep current location for me, but if you want them just to go automatically onto your SSD, you can just select it to do that, but just bear in mind it may fill up quickly. And this is just telling you, once you format this hard drive for Xbox One, you'll only be able to use it for Xbox One, you won't be able to plug it into your PC. So let's continue, format storage device. Boom, external storage ready. That didn't take long at all. Now what we want to do is head on over to PUBG in My Games and Apps, and we are going to copy it over to our new super fast external SSD. So we're going to click on it here. We're then going to go down to Manage Game and Add-ons. Click that. Then we want to go to Move All click move all and it will start copying it all over to the external hard drive and you can see there we've got 238.3 gigabytes three this is a 256 gigabyte ssd make sure your external hard drive whether it's an ssd or even just a normal hard drive is 256 gigabytes if it is not at least that size i don't think it will work with the xbox one that is the minimum size for external storage on the Xbox One. So just bear that in mind guys and hit move. It shouldn't take too long hopefully. Okay so that looks like it's going to take a little while so we will leave it to do its thing and come back to it when it's done. Okay now we have PUBG on our external hard drive so let's fire it up. Okay let's jump in to a game and compare it to earlier on. Here we go fam, let's go! So it will be really interesting to see how much better or otherwise the textures load in. Hopefully it should be a lot quicker, a lot smoother. 
Not big blocky buildings with no textures. I am positive as I think the buildings are already looking better than they did previously. These ones right over here we landed at last time. Let's see what it's like now. Look at this. Woo hey! What a difference! Unbelievable. So that's a huge, huge performance uplift compared to the standard out the box performance for the Xbox One S and the Xbox One. So it's definitely worthwhile if you guys are playing PUBG all the time and it is frustrating you how slow it is to load up, definitely get an external SSD. Plug it into your Xbox and it will make a massive, massive difference, guys. You will absolutely love it. And the benefit of this is this will make a massive performance increase to all your games. This is a big, big difference. Big, big difference. I'm really, really impressed. Now let's take a little look at the before and after full screen so you guys can just really, really appreciate the difference here. It's absolutely massive. And then we'll round off the video. So as you can see, we've just jumped out the plane and this has been recorded, just to remind you guys, on an Xbox One S and this is running from the standard hard drive which is in the machine. You can see there it's taking a while to load in the textures from the ground, the grass, it's taking a long time, the actual deploying of the parachute and then the parachute textures, oh, they've just loaded in there. So there's a big delay. The extra speed from this little Western digital hard drive is absolutely brilliant, but you really want to focus on these houses. Look at these houses. This looks like it's from a 1995 PC or something. It is so, so jagged. The textures are horrendous and then boom, they've popped in. Then when we go over to the SSD, let's see how much smoother it is. You can already see the difference in the water, the river. There, There's the cities have now popped in. Let's see if the textures on the ground actually load in a lot quicker also. But it, to me, it just makes a big difference. It's such a great little hard drive. As I said before, I'll link down below in the description. Let's see the parachute. Is it popped in already, the textures? Is there a delay there? Oh, boom, there it is. A little bit of a delay there, but it's the ground here and these two buildings I keep saying you need to focus on. It's a great little hard drive. Makes a huge difference. As soon as you touch down here, you're ready to play. The parachute off our back comes off way, way quicker also. And then the buildings look perfect. You're ready to go explore. This makes it so much easier as well when you're picking up items from the floor. Really, really, really great little bit of kit. And I can't stress that enough. And I can only speak from personal experience. I've used Western digital hard drives for years. They're absolutely brilliant. I've never had a problem with one. So I would totally recommend it if you want to pick one up for yourself. Hopefully you guys found that little trick useful and it helps you guys enjoy Player Unknown's Battlegrounds a lot smoother and gets you a lot more kills. If you did, please leave the video a big fat thumbs up. Subscribe and smash that notification bell so you do not miss out on any of our future content or live streams. We release videos every day here on the channel and we would love to have you as a new member of the gamers world. Thank you very much for watching. My name's Murray. Much love to your faces. Stay safe and we'll see you soon for another video.